Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here, how you doing? You guys know on Irv TV we explore Cincinnati history and in today's video we're going to take a drive down Glenway. I'm currently on Bridgetown Road and we're about to turn left down here at the red light. So come with me to see Glenway, especially if you don't live in Cincinnati anymore and you haven't seen Glenway in ages. I think you'll like this video so stick around. Uh, one of my favorite buffets is right there, Grand Buffet. It's one of my, it's really the only Chinese buffet that I go to in this area. Uh, here is the old Western Bowl and Cancun restaurant. Now, it hasn't always been Cancun, somebody told me, but it's been Western Bowl for a while. Although I've been told Western Bowl itself has changed a lot since the old days. There's a really great aerial photo of Western Bowl back when it was brand new. Now here's that Arby sign right here behind Mike's Car Wash. Y'all see that? That is an old classic Arby sign. Now here somewhere used to be, somebody told me there used to be a Red Lobster here. I'd, and there also used to be a Golden Corral down across from um, Home Depot. Those are both gone now. Now right here is the Western Hills Plaza. It's kind of not too easy to see from the street view, uh, but they are doing some remodeling in Target because they lost their Starbucks, uh, which is moving it to the site of the old Star Car Wash, what a lot of people call gl the Glenway Car Wash. It's now gone. And Sears is gone, but the there's a lot of businesses there in that uh, Western Hills Plaza there, guys lot of businesses. Now there's a, uh, a new restaurant up here called Hothead Burritos. Guys, I love Hothead Burritos. They, it reminds, very, very reminiscent, will remind you of um, Chipotle, except they don't have all of the, their quality of ingredient is not the same. It's just standard produce. It's not organic type produce, um, all that type of stuff. It's just regular off-the-shelf lettuce, I'm sure. They've also got ground beef, which Chipotle doesn't have. Uh, now, there's a lot of these. You see this a lot in old towns. A lot of these residential areas that have been converted into business districts. So all these really old houses here are all dentist's office and chiropractors and mental health and lawyers and, uh, you know, whatnot. And I find it interesting that every single one of these houses is actually a business that blows my mind. So we're coming up on Glenmore. And that used to be a different bank. I do not remember what that is new, that first financial bank. Guys, what did that used to be up there? You guys see that right over there? Let me zoom in since I'm sitting here at a red light. What did that used to be? I, for the life of me, can't remember what that used to be. Obviously, it used to be a smaller local chain, and they have decided to, uh, they decided to sell out. And there's Happy's Pizza. If you haven't had Happy's Pizza lately, get you some Happy's Pizza. Uh, I like their sandwiches. Not so much their pizza. They built this Waffle House not too horribly long ago right there. That's new. Now here's Walt Sweeney. You guys see, I call, see the big gorilla up there? Let me uh, zoom in on him as much as I can. I call that, I call him old Marshmallow Tooth. Look at his teeth. Seriously, they're giant marshmallows. No joke. Our mo old marshmallow tooth. <laughs> Next time you go by old marshmallow tooth, you can think of Irv. Because I don't know what, the, what his actual name is. I'm sure somebody's actually named him, but old marshmallow tooth. 
Now here's Frisch's. Now for those of you that don't know, and I found this out, where Frisch's is now used to be the site of an old Roy Rogers restaurant back in the 60s and 70s. And there's still, if you want Roy Rogers, you can go to, uh, is it called Ronnie's or... Uh, it's uh, way, way out on the deep east side of Cincinnati, just off the uh, 275. Now here's the Covedale Theater. I believe it's a theater for the performing arts. They do regular community stuff there. It used to be a movie theater, very obvious to me. Uh, I'm glad to see an old building like that that has been preserved and is being used and uh, we still have the color of the neighborhood uh, has been preserved for future generations. Alright, so back there at uh, Cleves, Warsaw and Glenway, that used to be the westernmost boundary of the Cincinnati city limits. Uh, as I was sitting here trying to talk to the camera and tell you about the intersection, uh, a emergency vehicle kind of came through and the whole scene was interrupted. <laughs> that used to look very different back in the day. It used to look very different. A lot of this down here, though, a lot of these buildings are original uh, to the um, neighborhood, at least going back into the early 1900s. Carter Elementary right here is a newer building and something else used to be there. If I'm not mistaken, a movie theater used to be here at the corner of Sunset and Glenway. Right here where uh, kind of where Carter Elementary, Carson, I say Carter, Carson Elementary is today. I don't know why I called it Carter. My son used to go to Carson. Very infamous elementary. They have since changed administrations due to a horrible tragedy that took place there a couple of years ago. Now there is a funeral home here that I swear looks like an old house. Riddell, Rattle, Riddell Funeral Home. This right here to my left used to be Sam's Chili. It's no longer open. I believe that closed down last year. I do not know if someone's going to do something with it. It'd be nice if they did. And just up ahead, you see this giant red building to my left on, across from Sam's Chili, the old Sam's Chili location? It's marked as the Western Hills Eagle Club. And right on the other side of the Eagles Club is where the original, very first, Skyline Chili used to be. And one day I'm going to get permission to fly my drone up from there to see if you really can see the Cincinnati skyline. I believe this is the highest point along Glenway. There's no higher point between here and downtown than right there on that property. Because you can see ahead of me, it's all downhill. So this offers a fantastic view of Glenway going towards the Price Hill area, going kind of going in the direction of the what we call the Incline District, where the Incline used to be. Alright guys, we're kind of at the end of the tour now. And I'm going to turn in here to Cincinnati Christian University. Guys, this particular campus offers one of the best overlooks in the Cincinnati area. And it's one of the best kept secrets for those that don't know. I'm going to take you there. That's been my tour of Glenway really from start to finish I did forget to mention that uh, that stretch of Glenway down towards where the uh, the old library is down by the old the original district 3 police station that's one of the oldest municipal districts in Cincinnati there is a, um, a firehouse a police station and that old library right there but what I want to show you, and I'm ending my video right here, is this fantastic, this fantastic view of downtown. And the best place to catch this view is not from right here where I'm standing, but actually from the library 
That's right. If you go in the Cincinnati Christian University Library, they have a set of windows. Now, you have to travel up to get into the library. And uh, so you're up in the air above the trees and the shrubs that's down here in front of me. But then they had a beautiful view of downtown. Guys, if you like this video, check out some of these other Irv TV videos in the playlist that's on your screen right now. Click, click there, go there, check those out. Guys, appreciate you watching, and hey, I will see you in that next video.